correct and wonderful people. Serious royal drama ongoing in the palace now. We heard that uh, Empress Madani has collected the worst beating of her life from our able attention seeker. When I not say this battle we they talk about, not the only spiritual battle, the already is the fight, physical battle. And right now, it don't reach Empress. Empress, where still be Kabiyesi's concubine? Where still they think how she go take enter palace to come and take over from the Oloris where they're there? Because if you see Empress, she's so beautiful. Yes, we heard that she is from Arab country. Her mother is from Iran, as we heard. She's so beautiful. She had all her life in the United States. That is where Kabiyesi met her. For the past seven years, she has, come, she has been coming in and out of the palace. You don't say where she become Kabiyesi concubine. The same way Miriam attention seeker Ashley and uh, Adjeronke has been Kabiyesi's concubines for long before being changed into Kabiyesi's wife. But the problem is that we heard that when Kabiyesi married attention seeker with Miriam Adjeronke, Temitobe and Ashley, that Kabiyesi did not include Empress Madani. So now, now where Kabiyesi won't marry her, come into the palace with Princess Peju. That is what we heard. Both of them has been Kabiyesi's concubine for so long. And Kabiyesi promised them marriage. Now Kabiyesi wants to make it happen by bringing them into the palace. But Kabiyesi's wife has said no. That over their dead body will Kabiyesi bring Princess Madani and Princess Peju into the palace. Yes, and today we heard Empress Madani, she came from nowhere. She came into the palace. She was walking straight to Kabiyesi's chamber before attention seeker now block her. They have warned them not to enter palace. Not be today. The other day we heard they threw their things out of the palace and asked them to go and not to return until the day where Kabiyesi go come pay their bride price. They threw Princess Peju's property out, warning her seriously to stop coming into the palace, that she's not uh, welcomed. They sent warning they gave to Empress Madani to stop coming to the palace that she is not welcome to. But when I know say, Kabiyesi is a king, like I said. A lot of women want to be his wife. Forget all this social media gra gra that people will come out and be saying over their dead body. Will they become seventh wife? Will they become eighth wife? That they will not do it. This, that. Kabiyesi is not the only man on earth. Now, waiting people, they talk for my comment section. Say Kabiyesi is not the only man on earth. Say if it is them, they will not do it, that they will not marry Kabiyesi. Yeah, it is true. Some will not marry Kabiyesi, even if Kabiyesi comes for their hand in marriage. But will, some will run back to Kabiyesi. Yeah. Because he is a king, because he is financially stable. He is a billionaire. You will see plenty of people running back to him just to be his 20th wife self. They don't send. They don't care. Because they are all gold diggers coming into the palace to dig gold in Kabiyesi's hand. So right now I see the be. Empress Madani doesn't know that her attention seeker the two-day palace 247. No leave, no transfer. Attention seeker no they come off for palace. So she thinks say if she enter the Olori is no go see her and she will go see Kabiyesi and leave palace. Without knowing, say, attention seeker, she did give the one for inside palace from morning to evening. That is why plenty of people come there and say, you should say now attention seeker way on those twins. Because if she is truly the mother of those twins, she know they try you. How you go leave your picking from morning to evening? You will not go breastfeed them. 
You get as it be now. Some breastfeeding mothers will understand what we talk about here. Because there is no way you go leave your child, twins for that matter, from morning to evening. You know, see them, you know, breastfeed them, you they palace, they fight over Kabi Yesi. Over Kabi Yesi, we will snatch away from when a woman. And you think that Kabi Yesi will value you people? Now, Kabi Yesi is using the same K, we will not use wipe when a woman come off for palace to wipe all of them come off for palace. He wish you not turn, you not agree again. Now, so when they fight uh, Empress Madani, they fight Princess Peju, not to enter palace. Now that one consigned them. So we had say attention seeker was there when Peju, I mean Empress Madani was coming in. Now from there, attention seeker tell and say, stop there and return back to wherever you are coming. Don't enter inside Kabiesi's chamber. She thought that it is, it is a joking matter because you see these uh, white people, it gets as then the reason. So she thought that it is just a normal thing without knowing say attention seeker they serious. From there they start to the exchange words. Before you know it, my correct people, we hear say attention seeker they already start to the fight and press Madani. You know these white people, any slight thing where you do to them, they will just turn red immediately. They know they waste time. We strong Kakaraka past all these white people. We know say attention seeker, she's strong, well, well. From there, serious fights don't start. Attention seeker stood her ground and said, Lai Lai, Empress Madani no go into her palace. Say she no be Kabiesi's wife. Let her stop looking for Kabiesi. Let her stop asking of Kabiesi. Let her go and face her life and forget about the husband. Now, so attention seeker, they para for palace. Empress Madani can't they cry. Out of anger, she picked up her stuff, her bags and everything. Where they inside the bag, where attention seekers scatter everywhere. Now so she picked them up. Very angry, she left the palace. She left out of anger. And attention seeker, this time around, she don't win. Because this Oloris, we don't know this fight where they don't start when it is going to stop. Because they know not stop Kabiesi from marrying this uh, concubine, so unless Queen Naomi stand up for them. Yes, if Queen Naomi stand up and say lie, lie, they no go coming. That is when Kabiesi will change his ways. But as Queen Naomi don't give Kabiesi free mind and do whatever you want to do with your life, don't include me. I am no longer in the palace. Kabiesi, in just the married wife up and down. My correct people, this is my You don't tie rapper for inside palace because now so so bad to where the will is the fight. I will make a chicken amount for this matter. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay connected, and don't forget that all our alleged information we gather from the words of social media. We do not leave or stay in the palace to tell exactly what is going on there. Stay tuned 